right, so now what we're looking at is the valve seat. The one on the right is the exhaust, the one on the left is the intake. You see on the intake, the left side of it, you see these black spots, that's pitting. Change the angle a little bit, yeah, see all that pitting? That's not horrible, but those turn into deeper gouges that end up burning the valve and the valve seat um, in the head, but we're lucky that things aren't like that. Um, I'll show you later on the cutters I use to clean all that up. They'll clean up real easy. But pretty much every single intake seat has that. The exhaust seats are a little harder to see. Um, they're a little harder to see. And that one, this one I can see has got some pitting on it. See that? The shiny part's got some pitting on it. It's light, but it's still pitting. So, anyway, the good news is each combustion chamber is very consistent with the others. They're very, very consistent. And that means a lot. <clears throat> so, it just needs a basic valve job. Um, the compression was within spec, but a couple cylinders were like 20, 20 PSI low, and I consider that not okay. Um, but for, you know, 192,000 miles on the clock, <clears throat> it's not horrible. If it wasn't for this piston slap, this engine probably would have never come apart. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the valves. Oh, now, see that exhaust valve? You see all the pitting on its face? See that? You see the black stripe and there's a bunch of pitting in it? That's for real. Oh yeah, the exhaust valves you can see are pitted um, quite a bit more. Yeah, see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's time. <clears throat> These are totally uh, repairable, not a big deal. The valve grinder will take care of that. That side, the face on the side there is nice and uh, it's trued up. I haven't used it in a long time, but it's still very true. So that's what's going to happen next on the head, anyway. I got to clean it up. I got to decide how I'm going to clean all the carbon off. I I could sandblast it, but then I'll have to wash this head, and that's a pain in the butt. So we'll see what happens. I still haven't gotten the damn uh, oil pan off yet, and. I know there's pieces of piston laying on the bottom, so anyway, uh, that's our head inspection for right now. I'm not going to flip it over because my hands are clean. Uh, I laid out all the springs on this side. Like I said, that intake gasket, see the exhaust there on the end, the round one? Not blown even a little, not blown even a little. Um, Anyway, there it all sits, needs some help, but uh, totally doable. So anyway, um, that's it for now. See you, bye. All right, I'm trying to provide a well-lighted close-up of the pistons and cylinder walls. This is the frontmost cylinder, number one. The carbon buildup's actually pretty minimal, I think. Not bad, I think. And they're even. They're all about the same, which is a which is a big deal. Let's see if I can get this other one here. Oh, that one's gonna be tough for the light. Um I see some scratching. Oh, look at that. Some vertical scratching. Well, that means that's where some of that uh, piston screw is broken off. Now, can I light the back side of it? <clears throat> Man, I got this light in there as tight as I can get it. All right, hang on a second. <clears throat> That's about as good as I can do. Okay, well, 
I don't know if I can do much better than that, but I can see that, that vertical scratching right there. Now that's nothing. <clears throat> I could take that out with anything at all. So, um, yeah, I can't see the rest of the walls on these cylinders as good as that one, but I think that's the, where the piston broke. All right, well, that's it for now. Just wanted to show you, get some close-ups of some of this before I start working on it. I'm actually going to try and get the pan off again <laughs> today. Wish me luck. See you, bye.